Let's begin here tonight with the latest on a gruesome discovery we've been asking questions about since Christmas. We now have new details on a story that's had a community on edge. Three family members found dead in their Hamilton County home on Christmas Day. RTV 6's Stephanie Wade has been following this story since it happened. And Stephanie, we now know the cause of death. Yeah, the coroner just confirmed what this, the sheriff suspected happened on Christmas Day. That 48-year-old Todd Moon killed both his parents, 84-year-old Donald Moon and 81-year-old Joyce Moon, inside their home and then took his own life. Now, the sheriff says that Todd called his sister that afternoon, saying he was in some sort of altercation with their parents and asked her to come pick up his two children. He has custody of his eight-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. Their mother, his ex-wife, lives out of town. Now, when the sister got to the home, she tried to calm Todd down, but instead he shot their mother multiple times near the kitchen. Todd then went to his parents' bedroom and shot his father there. Luckily, the children were in a different room toward the back of the home and did not see this happen. That's when the sister took the kids, and as they were leaving, she heard one last gunshot ring out. That was the bullet that Todd put to his head, killing himself. She went to a nearby fire station and called police around 4.30. Over the holidays, some folks find themselves in, in great stress. And so we would certainly encourage folks that are experiencing that to reach out for help. There are plenty of services available. Um, again, if, if you're feeling bad, you're having issues, need help, and have concerns, don't hesitate to reach out, and we'll connect you with the resources that you need to get through those difficult times. Now, Todd and his two children lived at the parents' home near East 191st Street and Promise Road in Noblesville. They lived there for about five years. Right now, the sheriff's office is trying to figure out what prompted this double murder-suicide. I can tell you that Todd did spend some time in the military, but the sheriff says there is no indication of mental illness or post-traumatic stress disorder, and there is no history of violence or disturbances at that home. Now, Todd did have a gun permit. He used a nine millimeter handgun during this incident and also owned another gun. And although the suspect is now dead in this case, the sheriff says the investigation is still ongoing as they try to piece together exactly what happened here in this horrific shooting. Mark, back to you.